Hey guys, so today we're going to just do a little vlog style video. We're going to be heading down to Denver pretty soon. Um, and we're just going to talk a little bit about how people have affected us in this lifestyle. When you're living all over in different places, you encounter different types of people and just kind of our recent experiences with that, which have been very cool and sometimes a little scary, but overall... Weird. Weird and good. <laughs> all right. Good weird. <laughs> Yes. Mm. Okay, well that's something learned. That thing? Did you okay. not know that was broken? No, I didn't know it was like to this point. Oh yeah, mm. that happened yesterday. Okay. Because it flew out of yep. that. So strap everything down if you're gonna live in a school bus or a van. But on a happier note, we've got the Mr. Heater little buddy warming us up. We have the wood stove right there. We, last night, supposedly, it was below 32, supposedly. We didn't use any heat at all. We didn't use the wood stove or the Mr. Buddy. We just use like a plethora of blankets. Yeah, it's cozy. All you have to do is find a partner and snuggle their face off and you'll be warm for hours. Mm -hmm. Get a cat to sleep under the blanket with you and then... One on top, one underneath. Good to go. So. Coffee, my love? Alright, let's get... <laughs> yes. <laughs> Sit over here, sit it on the table. And see if she stays. Force it to be in the video. Yeah, you should try. I know I love you and you're super cute. Cuteness. Okay, let's see what happens. We want to talk about something that is really not discussed widely at all in this community. What happens when you make everywhere you park your backyard and the impact you have on both people's lives around you and the impact that people's lives have on us. Just opportunities to help people being able to read what situations might be safe and some instances that we've just come across recently. Yeah. Parking a spot. So we've been parked at this really awesome spot in Fort Collins for about a month and it's by this really beautiful like vacant field and it's been a great situation I would say. Yeah. Um, there's been one other RV parked over there that comes and goes but other than that it's been nice and we haven't had any issues dealing with anyone um, and then just this past week there was a gentleman that came through and was like digging through the field with like a <laughs> knife and a long piece of wood looking for well prior to that like prior to that we were sitting in the bus and he this guy walks by with his bike and goes into the woods right next to us so You're like hmm, our cats were out nobody else ever goes over there really yeah exactly so our cats were out there so we were like all right let's keep an eye on our cats now so we were looking out keeping an eye on them and they both of them just went over and kind of st just stared at him and just both sat there so we were like all right we gotta go get our cats so we walked out and got him and then he starts talking to me and I was re receptive to conversation because I'm always receptive to conversation and I like to feel out what it's like if someone's kind of like going to be in our space just yeah. to see what they're like. And he asked me if I was a tweaker and if I had anything. I was like, no, dude, I'm not a tweaker. Sorry, man. But that gave me the, he said he was a tweaker and then he lived in a camper like a quarter mile away from where we we're staying. So that kind of put us off a little bit to the spot. And then, um, then was rummaging around and being like, yeah, it was just a weird situation. And we didn't want to leave the spot because it's been so awesome. And it was so stressful before trying to park on the side of the road in like residential areas ever it just never worked. It's just an off putting situation. Um, so yeah, the next morning I woke up and I was making coffee and you were still asleep. I remember you had a hard time sleeping the night before. So I felt really bad, but I looked out and there was a lady curled up with her dog 
right outside the bus, and she had like nice bags and a decent like pea coat, and I was really confused. So I woke Zayn up, and 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 I ended up going out there and bringing her some tea, and I brought her another blanket. So it was really mm -hmm. cold. Um, I kind of just wanted to feel out her vibe, and what I found out is that she is she was a really sweet woman. She has a great heart, and times have just been rough. And when it comes down to it, we're all humans. We're all in this together. We all make mistakes. We all mm -hmm. go through rough times. We all trust people who we think are great that end up, you know, stabbing us in the back and leaving us on the side of the road. You know, you never know what's going to happen. So I think it's important to do everything you can to help them. This sounds really cheesy, maybe, but that's kind of the key to like immortality. Like if you spread your goodness throughout this entire world, like when you when you're long gone, that goodness will always remain in, in these people that you've touched throughout your life. So I don't know. I try to think about that when it comes to meeting people along the road and yeah, yeah. Um, so that was just a circumstance we just kind of have been thinking about um, the past couple of days and dealing with. My family found out that my grandfather passed away last night, so people are kind of rallying together to get to Denver to be with my grandma and just be together and remember him and it's just really awesome to be able to drive down to Denver and park on the side of the road and like be there for the next couple days but not have our lives like interrupted like we're gonna have our house and our everything but we get to be able to walk up the street and be with them you know for a couple of days while this is all fresh and happening. It's just, it's a really cool thing. That, yeah, yeah. You know, it's nice not it being tied down by your thing so that you can't like extend yourself out to others. We're so fluid with this lifestyle. Recently in our lives, there has been a more than usual amount of death. Pixel, our cat, passed away about two weeks ago. You know, Zeta's grandfather passed away last night and my grandmother is in the hospital with a blood clot in her lung. And then there's this poor homeless woman on the side of the road here and it's like, how much more perspective do we really need? Yeah, to realize how much we need to harness this life that we have, the moments that we have together. Like when you have people passing away in and around your family and friends. If that doesn't like, wake you up and that doesn't make you say, man, I need to take my life and really go for it, then yeah. I, I hope that people watching this don't have to wait for someone to die before yeah. you wake up, you know? So that's yeah. really what got us into this lifestyle in the first place. Is my my father passed away, and Zayna got into the lifestyle of like just just really just saying what's important in life and how am I going to get there mm -hmm. when her amazing aunt passed away. So it, unfortunately, it take it took death for us to realize that. But just learn from us. There's death all around you, and you have to live life to the fullest and mm -hmm. affect as many lives as you possibly can. Because yeah. that's what it's all about. Hey, thanks for watching. Stay tuned, we're gonna keep pumping out videos. And if you like what you see, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. We also love all the comments that everyone's leaving below. Thanks for watching this vlog. I know sometimes talking about um, death and stuff like that can be uncomfortable for people, but it really helps us kind of appreciate the life that we do have. So I hope you guys liked it.